Good morning, Wakefield. Welcome to the 24th edition of Wakefield Action Media. I'm Lukai. And I'm Isaiah. And we're here taking over Wham this week. <laughs> Wakefield made the news last week after we posted on our social media accounts about the racist treatment that we experienced on Friday, March 5th at Marshall High School by some of the Marshall football players. We are humbled by the outpouring of support on social media from the Wakefield community. Hashtag play for now will be trending for weeks to come. We want to take some time to talk to you, the Wakefield students. We want to talk to you about what you can do if someone makes racist remarks to you or your friends. The first thing you want to do is get to safety. This is the smartest thing you can do. Racers want to make you feel unsafe and less than a human. But don't let them. Walk away, share accurate information, and tell your story on social media. Do take action. Join protests, start petitions, and speak up. Read about what others have gone through and what they are doing to fight racism in their communities. Connect with others. Use hashtags and tag people on social media and create a net of resources. The more people who connect to fight against racism, the tougher it'll be for racists to spread lies and treat people inhumanely. Uplift other people's voices. Our Asian and Asian American communities are experiencing racially motivated attacks. We need to work together, not apart, to defeat racists and their hatred. Here's Caroline with an update on what's happening in our Asian and Asian American communities. Hello, warriors. It's all over the news. There has been a surge in attacks against Asian Americans in the past few months. The organization Stop AAPI Hate compiled a national report of 3,795 anti-Asian hate incidents in the last year alone. Asians and Pacific Islanders are medical scapegoats for the pandemic. Asian Americans have been attacked, spat on, and cursed out. Last week in Atlanta, eight people were killed in a racially motivated shooting. Six of the victims were Asian Americans. There is a great deal of fear and pain in the Asian American and Pacific Islander community that must be addressed. Visit StopAAPIHate.org to report a hate incident or donate funds to help develop long-lasting solutions to hate and violence. I ask everyone who can hear my voice to say something if they see someone in need, to help if they feel safe, or to get help if they don't. I am proud to be Asian American, and I belong here just as much as anyone else. Back to you, Lukai and Isaiah. Thanks for the update, Kara. Remember, even the most vigilant social justice warriors need to practice self-care. If you don't take care of yourself, how are you going to have the energy to fight against racism in America? Here are Reshmi, Caleb, and Wesley with some things you can do over spring break that will help you relax and recharge. My friends and I have gathered four things that you can try while staying safe. As the weather is getting nicer, one thing you can do for spring break is have a picnic. You can do it at the park or even your own backyard. Another way to have fun over spring break is to have a workout right here at home. Here are some ab workouts. Even some chest workouts. It is cherry blossom season. During spring break, go out to DC with your friends or family and enjoy the beautiful view of cherry blossoms as you go for a relaxing walk. Make sure to wear a mask and follow CDC guidelines. Okay, I'm about to get some spring shopping done. I'm going to head over to Pentagon City Mall. The first spot on my list was Forever 21. I saw they had a nice buy two, get one free deal. So I caught three tees, all different colors, and then headed over to my next spot and got myself a nice fitted hat after about 10 or 15 minutes of looking around. Stay safe, warriors, and have a wonderful spring break. Whatever you do, know that we are building a future and it is up to us to make sure racism is not in it. This is about more than football. This is about more than the game at Marshall. This is about the generation of minorities who have been treated unfairly, ignored, and ridiculed because of the color of our skin. We We say say enough enough is enough. enough. 
This will keep happening unless we set and keep boundaries every time a racist attacks. Our parents and grandparents have done a lot. It's our time to join the fight. Thank you for listening, Warrior Nation. This is the best thing you can do when someone is being attacked verbally and physically by a racist. Listen to their stories and believe them. That's it for this week. See you on Wednesday, April 7th for another exciting edition.